Hello everyone, it's Justin Ryan with The Spatial Insider and the new Jupiter environment just became available on Vision OS 26 with the release candidate. So I'm gonna actually walk you through what this looks like. This will be the first time seeing this environment in person since I last saw it back in June at WWDC 2025 at Apple Park. Many of us have been waiting for this and so let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise my hand do the beautiful little pinch here. And then now I'm gonna go over to where it says environments. I'm gonna click on environments. What you will see is that they got rid of the morning light to make room for Jupiter. Now, something I'm noticing here, which is really cool, is that these immersive environments, we know how they start as a circle. And so Jupiter, when you're not looking at it, just looks like a planet floating there. And then when you look at it, you see outer space. Let's go ahead and pinch that one so it will start to download the environment. And just as a reminder here, all of the different Apple immersive environments that are currently available in Vision OS 26. Now, Jupiter has downloaded. So let's go ahead and check out Jupiter here. So I'm gonna look at it and I don't have to like move a mouse or anything. I just look at what I want and I pinch. And now we're gonna go check out Jupiter. And as you can see here, the immersive environment kind of stops to the sides here. So if I wanna go full immersive, I'm just gonna go up here to the crown on my headset. I'm just gonna spin that. So here I am on one of Jupiter's moons looking at Jupiter and it's pretty stunning. The detail here is pretty impressive. Now something that's extra cool about this environment is that I should be able to change the time of day. So I think in this case I'm going to go here and look at the little circle floating thing above my hand. I'm going to spin it over. I'm going to pinch and now I'm going to go to Jupiter here in the control center and you can see where it says explore Jupiter. So let's click on that one and now I have this extra window here that says this is the view from Almathea, one of Jupiter's inner moons. Jupiter is the fastest rotating planet in our solar system with a day that is only 10 hours long select from the times of day to see how lighting and moon alignments shift over time and what apple told me is that you could actually be in the headset here for nine hours and you would see the full rotation it's pretty incredible but let's go ahead and advance to dawn and you can see the lighting all of the sudden changes and the shadows change here i just noticed there's some additional moons back behind me and i believe that's the sun clear off in the distance there let's go ahead and look at sunrise time all right so the sun did just go over there. The light here, the shadows, all plays off of that. And I could actually take this, which is really fun, and I could scroll that. And so watch this as I sit back and look at Jupiter. Check that out. You can see the storms on the surface of Jupiter. Now we're on the dark side. It's so cool. We'll go to afternoon. All right, afternoon's pretty cool. Watch this big storm down here. Something else cool about this is that Apple actually worked with NASA in the creation of this immersive environment. They wanted to get the imagery exactly right. This is one of the best ways to actually see what Jupiter would look like, which essentially this view would be impossible for humans in 2025. But here with the Apple Vision Pro, we can all be here looking at the surface of Jupiter. Let's go ahead and go to sunset. All right, so here's sunset. We'll go nighttime. <laughs> Everything has gone dark. We'll go back to dawn. That's pretty cool. You can see just the rim of Jupiter. We'll go sunrise. You can see the other moons over there in the distance. We'll go afternoon. Let's also imagine that we want to connect to our Mac. So we're just going to go over here to Mac Virtual Display. We're going to connect here to the M4 Max, which is an incredible machine. How cool is this? I'm here on one of Jupiter's moons, looking at Jupiter, and I've got my Mac virtual display open right here. So I could be getting stuff done here on my Mac while I'm on the moon here in space. And if you look really, really closely down there, you'll see that it's actually moving. The detail that Apple puts into anything and everything is one of the greatest qualities about Apple. All right, so that was the new Apple immersive environment, Jupiter, and it's currently available for developers as part of Vision OS 26 release candidate, and it will be available for everybody else through the public release of Vision OS 26 happening very soon this fall. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next video.